Today we are going to um, fit lower control locks on an Audi TT. Okay. Uh, suspension noise, and uh, we have um, identified that the lower control on bushes are basically worn, as can be seen there. Okay, they don't come loose, so we have to replace the complete arm over here. So, without further ado, let's get it going. Okay, so what we need to do, the first step, is to remove the, the plate below. Okay, the plate runs all the way to the back. You basically use a, a 25 Torx, uh, um, uh, Torx bit. Okay, I use it in my uh, 3H drive. We basically just need to loosen up. And I'll just go ahead and get the plate out of the way. Okay, the first step um, is to loosen these three uh, bolts here. They size 16 heads. Okay, we, uh, we loose the, the, the nuts and take them out of the way completely. And then we'll shift to uh, the front okay size 18 uh, socket we have to remove that bolt okay that holds the front part of the the front part of the lower control arm and then we'll go to the back and we loosen also a size 18 head bolt okay um, so those are the three that we need to loosen um, to uh, remove this lower control arm okay so without further ado let's get it on to using our 18 with a power bar okay uh, there's two of them. You loosen up this one, just loosen it up nicely. Okay, that's nice. Loosen it up, use a power bar so that you don't put too much pressure on your ratchet. Okay, loosen them up. And then we can take our ratchet speed. Okay, it allows us to just get these bolts loose a lot quicker. Okay, so we'll just attach the spanner to the top to hold the top the top bolt or nut okay it is actually a nut and bolt arrangement we'll turn it out get the spanner to lock against the body we'll turn this bolt out all the way now that's your nut your top mm. nut Okay, so we've taken out the front bolt, goes in that way. And now we can just simply loosen, pull, pull the, this bolt out completely. And now we can just sort of remove the lower control arm. That's the lower control arm. And it's in okay, our old unit, as you can see, all the cracks are around there. Okay, that is basically the stress point, And that is where they normally wear. Okay, our brand new part, which we are just take out of the packaging over here. We'll match it up and we'll make sure that it is the correct component. That it basically matches what we've taken off, as you can see. Okay, we just overlay it. It matches. You can see nice new bushes, okay, in this unit. So now we are ready to fit. Right, we have our new unit to go in. So. It's a little bit of a fiddle job because you need to get all the bolts to line up between um, where you mount it and the actual unit. Okay, so just simply put it in the best that you can. Give it a bit of a wiggle. We'll get the ball joint in as well. Okay, uh, tighten the ball joint lightly. Just put the nuts in position so the ball joint doesn't drift all out out of the all over the shell. Just tighten your three bolts there. Okay, I managed to get it to go through so we can put the mat on. Okay, just thread the nut nicely up there, which I feel it's going on pretty nicely. And then this bolt, we need to thread this bolt in, make sure that it is threaded nicely, and then we'll take the ratchet and then we'll start tightening it up. Okay, like what we did when we took it out. Okay. And once it starts turning in, okay, we just need to turn it until it is tight. I'll get back to you when I've got them all tightened. Okay, these bolts, we'll just go ahead and tighten them by hand. Tighten them up as much as you can there by hand. And once you have them all up against, you can just use the, the ratchet to give the final tightening. Okay, 
So look, we're all different and we all do use different methods and different tools and so forth. But as long as the job is done properly, correctly, the bolts are all tightened properly, it won't come loose while the car drives, you know, everybody's happy. Okay. So now we'll just go and do the final tightening. So I'm using a power bar, a nice long bar. Okay, and we'll give it some good tightening. All three of those bolts, size 16 socket. Uh, with a power bar, okay, let's give it a good, a good yank against and a nice nick with a long bar, lots of leverage, okay, that'll keep it nice and tight. The bolt in front, 18 socket, power bar, we'll put the socket on with a power bar and we'll tighten it, give it a good tightening. Okay, you don't want that to come loose. And then the bottom bar, we put a spanner on top to hold the nut. And um, we put our power bar on. Okay, put on our power bar and just give it a good tightening there. Okay. All right, let's take the spanner off. Uh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Giuseppe, Giuseppe's going to do the, the driver's side uh, lower controller. So I'll go ahead and I'll try to do my best to form it. Okay. So Giuseppe, let us know what you're doing. Right, so taking off the first, as we said, size 16s. And, and that's on the ball joint? Yes, the all off of the ball joint. All three of them, as we discussed earlier. <coughs> Right, and here we go to the size 18 on the inside, same as what we did on the other side. Got a bit of elbow grease, takes it loose, no questions asked. And now we go to the final, the back points. Right, so now we just carry on and we loosen all bolts and that should take our lower control arm out. Ready for the replacing the new one. All right, we'll get back to you once we've got all the bolts loose and we're ready to pull the lower control arm out. Well done, Chevy. Yeah, mate. So, all right, the bolts are ready to come out. All right, that's the back one. And then the front one, that just uh, basically comes out. Okay, um, we're ready to take all the nuts off. Okay, they are so loose that you can actually do it by hand now. All right, so we'll pull the, 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 the we'll pull the control arm out of the ball joint, okay, and just wiggle it out of the rest of the, you know, where it is basically mounted. Okay, just a little bit of elbow grease needed, just a bit of a shake and a fiddle, and there we go. Well done, Giuseppe. Yeah. So let's get that new one in. Okay, so this is what a really busted. Uh, Lower control on bush looks like. Okay, you can see it's really torn out the rubber over there. All right, on the flip side, you can see the same thing. You can actually see it much better. Okay, really busted over there. This will cause a lot of play on the suspension and cause the tires to wheel off like they have on this vehicle over here. All right, and that is the main reason why we are replacing these uh, lower control arms. Just as a matter of interest, this wetness on the floor is actually sweat. <laughs> Giuseppe <laughs> and myself, we get soaking wet when we work, but we love it. <laughs> okay, job well done. New lower control arm fitted. Okay, all that we need to do now is to put the wheels on and to replace the belly plate. Okay, 